The Execution of Michael Fagan. Price has the English hangman sailed through Dublin Bay. Each visit's been to take the life of some doomed man away. Joe Brady and John Curley have journeyed on before. Michael Fagan has this day gone forth to seek Jehovah's shore. And crave the tender mercy that was here denied below. By that violent farmer, Carey, who has proved his overthrow. No savage man in foreign land more treachery could display. Than swindle men in his cursed den, then swear their lives away. The heart bereaved with grief is heaved in many a sad mother. Of grief oppressed there is no rest, either for a loving brother. And sister too, whose last adieu within Kilmainham jail, her tearful prayer for Michael Fair to reach God's throne won't fail. In God's hands we know he stands and cannot him deceive. The thoughts he knows of friend and foe in him we do believe. He is all wise and will chastise all transgressors in due time. A long career knaves may have here, but their last hour will yet chime. A fond adieu, dear friends, to you my hour is now at hand. I see grim death, I feel his breath, and I hear his stern command. I must obey, so far me pray, to God who reigns on high. To be my friend and to extend his mercy when I die. It was May the 28th in 1883. Michael Fagan was dispatched unto eternity. The hand of William Marwood sent him to his doom. In bleak Kilmainham jail he lies, all in a quicklime tomb. Hot the Invincibles! Hot!